grade 6 once again for your lesson social studies and I will today I want to talk up to take you through causes of conflicts in the society what are the causes of conflicts in a society but first and foremost let us understand what a conflict is a conflict is a disagreement between one person and another person all between two parties, all between a country and a country, all it can be a conflict between a continent and another continent. And a conflict can bring so many problems, enmity, and even fighting. Now, because of that, today I want us to look at one, two, three, four, continue that way, what are the causes of these conflicts in our society? Number one, abuse of human rights. Abuse of human rights. When we talk about abuse of human rights, here we are talking about the violation of human rights. Each and every individual, each and every community deserve to have these human rights. They are very important. We shall look at them in another episode. Number two, Religious differences is yet another factor that causes conflicts in a society. Now, when we talk about religious differences, these are, these are the differences in faith amongst people in society who belong to different religions. Say, for example, Christianity versus Hindu or Hindu versus Muslim. Another factor that brings this problem of conflict is poverty, whereby people do lack the basic needs uh, that make people, and you know, this can make people engage in unacceptable behaviors such as uh, theft. You know, when people lack these basic needs, some people can end up, you know, engaging themselves in a very, very unacceptable behaviors like, uh, you know, mugging other people, uh, maybe stealing other people's property for the sake of trying to clear, to, do, to run away from that, this state of poverty. Then the other one is unfair distribution of resources. This is whereby some communities may feel there was an equal distribution of resources, such as health care, facilities, schools and hospitals whereby these people from this community they may feel their, uh, their area has been unfortunately has not been treated well in terms of distribution of resources. Another factor is discrimination. What is it all about discrimination? Discrimination is unfair treatment of people uh, based on their gender, ethnic, background, race, religion and disability. For example, disability people may feel that they are being uh, discriminated because when, for example, when you go to many transport system, well, we don't have buses and uh, trains that have been designed to cater for these disabilities. So there could be, they can have that feeling of being discriminated. Then there's also another factor that is land, pasture, water, and, and of course water points, whereby there are so many disputes in such places. Now, scarcity of land, water, and the pasta, pas, pasture due to high population and overstocking can also bring this problem. And lastly, but not least, political incitement. Political incitement is yet another cause of these conflicts. Uh, this is unlawful behavior during election period. There's a lot of political incitement, and more so during our tenor of elections. Now, boys and girls, let me take you through now. After seeing the causes, what are some of the methods of resolving these conflicts? What are some of the methods of resolving these conflicts? I want to mention them one after the other, and then I'll leave you with that assignment. Uh, find out, do some research, and write the meaning. These are A, litigation, B, inquiry, C, negotiation, D, arbitration, C, I mean, he, dialogue, F, conciliation, and G, mediation. Those are some of the methods that can be used to resolve the above mentioned causes of conflicts. I want to now 
go to your table tablet go to your tablet go to your computer go to your smartphone and do some uh, do some um, good do some research and write there is answers down see you next time boys and girls now let's see methods of resolving conflicts methods of resolving conflicts boys and girls i want to go through them uh, one by the other so that now i can leave you with that job to find out the meaning of this vocabulary they are very big vocabulary words used here a these are the methods a litigation b inquiry c negotiation d arbitration e dialogue f conciliation and g mediation now you boys and girls as you know after we went through our general election in 2022 there has been that problem of uh, you know we won we did, you did not win and right now as we talk we as kenyans we are witnessing uh, something taking place there are some, there's talking some talking taking place at bombers of kenya partition talk can you tell us what kind of uh, what kind of method is being used to resolve that problem of 2022 election is it one of these is it litigation is it inquiry is it negotiation what is taking place is there is it arbitration is it a dialogue between Ichungu and Kalonzo? is it conciliation is it mediation which method is being used by a Chungwa team and the Kalonzo team to solve that problem to resolve that problem concerning our general election in the year 2022 have a nice time thank you and give me